When it comes to graphic design, choosing a great color palette can make a huge difference. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, it can be difficult to find the right color combos for your designs. Luckily, there are some amazing tools out there for color palette inspiration. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucas here from Snappa. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best tools to use for generating color palettes. Let's get right into it. The first site to check out is Pigment by Shape Factory. Pigment is highly recommended by designers with its beautiful layout and easy to use interface. On the homepage, you can start by scrolling through the stunning color combos. There are sliders on the left to adjust the pigment and the lighting, and you can also click on the palette icon to select a specific color. Once you find a color palette you like, you can click on it and scan through the different shades. You can also copy the hex code, RGB code, or Pantone code to use these colors in your designs. Right now, I'm working on a graphic in Snappa, and I want to use this color for the background of my design. So I'm going to copy the hex code, and then head over to my graphic in Snappa. If I click on the backgrounds tab, select color, and then paste in the hex code, it will add the color to the background of my canvas. I can also quickly do the same thing for the color of my text. Pigment also has some really cool features that you should check out. If you click More Actions, you have the option to download your color palette in several different file types. You can also open a gradient or check out stock images that use your chosen color combo. However, my favorite feature is the logo creator. If you click Start a Logo, it will bring you to Shape Factory's automated logo generator, and you can experiment with how your color palette will look with different logo designs. It's a really fun feature to play around with, and you can even purchase your logo kit with different color combos and video animations. The next site to check out is Coolers. It's a speedy color palette generator that lets you create color combos in seconds. On the homepage, click the blue start button, and then you can hit the spacebar to generate random color palettes. Keep hitting the spacebar until you find a color you like, and then you can click the lock button to lock it down to your palette. You also have a few different options like copying the hex code, dragging it across the palette, adding it to your favorites, or even viewing different shades. Once you lock down a color, you can continue hitting the spacebar to generate new colors to match. Then, you can continue locking down colors to finish your palette. Not only is the interface extremely simple, but it's a really fun way to explore different colors and create your own custom color palette. You can also click down here to access different sliders and customize your colors even further. If you have a specific color in mind right from the beginning, you can use the sliders for this purpose as well. The toolbar at the top also has some useful features. You can upload an image to create a color palette from the colors in your photo, and you can export your palette to a variety of different formats. Overall, Coolers is a fantastic color palette generator that is fun and easy to use. However, if you don't want to mess around creating your own custom color palette, you can always click Explore Trending Palettes on the homepage and see what other creators are using. The last site on our list is Adobe Color. It's a powerful color palette generator that is jam-packed with features. Using the toolbar at the top, you start off in Create, where you can drag different points on a color wheel to form your palette. With the options on the left, you can pick different themes that will help specify your choices. For example, if I click Shades, I can then drag the color wheel to find different shades of a specific color. You also have the hex codes listed here at the bottom for you to copy and different sliders for more customization and adjustments as well. Adobe also lets you upload an image and extract a color palette from that image. This is a really powerful feature that can come in handy if you have a specific photo or a frame that you want to replicate in terms of color. You can also extract a gradient from an image as well. If you click the Explore tab at the top, you can see color palettes that other Adobe creators have made and you can even use the search bar to narrow down your results to something specific. 
This is a great way to look at a broad range of color palettes and get some general inspiration. The Trends tab is a really cool section to explore as well. Adobe shows you different color palettes that are trending in certain industries. So I can scroll down and see what color combos are trending in architecture or game design or travel. Well, that wraps up today's video. I've added links in the description below of all the websites I've mentioned, and hopefully you can use these tools for some color palette inspiration. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.